Hi everyone, Frederick here at Simple System Trading. Video today on the local trade copier version 2. Uh, this is for experienced uh, share chart users. Uh, this version 2 will replace the uh, version of 1 of the trade copier study. Uh, we have a couple of weeks uh, before version 1 will be removed. So take your time to um, get version 2 up and running, uh, test it, use it. Uh, let me know if you have any issues. I'll be gladly looking into those. Uh, as always, the study documentation. Um, have a look at the study description button uh, that will open up a local browser window. Uh, so you can see the description, a few links to documentation, and an explanation of all the uh, options. The um, current version 2 has a few more additions. Um, we can now support uh, waiting orders. So if we enter buy limit here and you will see that uh, the waiting order is now uh, supported. Um, moving targets and stop as well, moving the order itself, it's all supported. Um, we have OCO order entry on the support as well. So we have this uh, buy stop limit uh, OCO here. Uh, that's uh, supported as well. So you can uh, use that as your entry method. Um, what else? We have scaling in and out are now optional. So the transmitter side can uh, switch scaling in and out off and the receiver end can uh, do the same. You can also set it to use the same as the transmitter side. So you're always in sync on scaling. Uh, a few other options as well to uh, turn things on and off. Um, those are added. Another addition on the uh, receiver end is that you can fade uh, the main signal, right? That's a simple yes, no setting. Uh, do make sure you know what you're doing, um, but uh, the documentation should help you with that. And you can test things out in sim mode. Um, the main concept uh, hasn't changed, but I'll go through it real quickly for the new subscribers. Um, the concept is that you can load a transmitter study on a, a trading chart. In this case, this is uh, uh, the left side is my transmitter side. And that uh, transmitter chart will send any uh, orders or trade position changes to uh, connected receiver uh, studies. The receiver study in this uh, case is loaded on, on a second chart here. Uh, and that second chart will need to be on a different account and instrument combination. That's a requirement. You cannot load it on the same one, right? You cannot copy trades to the same account and uh, instrument. So make sure that's on a different account. You can use the um, share a chart installation that runs a trading service with multiple accounts and then select different ones uh, from uh, the drop down and use it or you can also use a different share a chart installation like uh, i have running right here um, with a chart or a dome works on the dome as well um, have loaded a receiver study on uh, this dome which is running on a different uh, share a chart installation uh, this allows you to uh, copy trades between uh, different trading services that run on your local machine. Um, so that's the main concept. Um, further details in the study description uh, for the transmitter as well as the receiver uh, study. The uh, bracket configuration is your flexibility, basically. Um, it's part of the, the concept of this study bundle that the receiver end will use the configured brackets um, that are present. If you don't want to use them, you have to remove them. The uh, checkbox does not uh, do anything in that regard. So we really need to configure these brackets uh, orders the same way or differently. That's your flexibility um, as you want them to be used in your setup. Um, for instance, on one receiver, you could probably set a simple uh, stop. On another one, you can make this a trailing stop. 
uh, you can have multiple targets in that way you can run different um, brackets on different accounts having a different approach to your trade management so this allows for uh, quite some flexibility uh, in your trade entries and management um, what else can I tell you? You always need to make sure that your automating, automated trading is enabled on the receiver end, uh, else the study uh, won't work. There will be like a, like a message uh, visible if that's not the case. So, you know, you will see something like this. You need to check your message log. Uh, there's quite a few messages here in the log, uh, but this will be uh, available for you to know what's going on. Um, also, if you don't want those messages visible, you can simply uh, turn this to no. Uh, I would recommend to keep the messages on for quite some time until you know what's happening. Uh, your setup works, then you can uh, turn that off. Um, so that's a quick overview on, um, on using this uh, version 2. All these orders here are supported. Uh, you can uh, go mark it in, uh, you can add a buy limit here, depending on scaling. Right now we're scaling in, so uh, the fill of this uh, limit order will just add uh, a number to uh, those brackets. Um, we have the uh, dome here as well with a position. We can move that stop. Have a look. Look here. The dome has the same stop now. Uh, target is out of sight, um, but you see that the orders work on the dome as well as on the chart. Right? We have a two position here. Um, one of the things that is default in the receiver study max position size is normally set to one. So do make sure if you're going to trade more. Um, more uh, contracts that you set that uh, max position size here. It should be fairly easy to get uh, things up and running, make them work for you. If you have some questions, just uh, hit me up through email and uh, we can work through a few options. Um, I do recommend that you start with one chart, one transmitter, one receiver, and then work your way up towards um, adding more charts and uh, doing different things. Let me know if you have questions. Happy to answer them. I'll uh, upload this video and I uh, wish you a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.